Greetings, friends, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. My name is Jim Orbe. We can read in the beginning of the Gospel of John that John the Baptist's primary role is to testify or bear witness to Jesus. Our Gospel reading for this second Sunday in the Ordinary Time is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 29 to 34. This is the first time that Jesus appears in the gospel story and John the Baptist gives his testimony about him. John the Evangelist begins with a turn of phrase that is a recurring pattern in the gospel. Someone sees another person and says something about him or her. This is a formula of revelation in which one person sees another and then reveals that person's role in God's plan. In this first instance, John the Baptist saw Jesus and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The title, Lamb of God, combines several biblical allusions. First, the Lamb is central in the Passover liturgy, which celebrates the Exodus, God's mighty act to save the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. We can find that story in Exodus. Particularly, this Lamb of God phrase is from Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 to 13. The New Testament writers depict Jesus as the new Passover lamb whose sacrificial death brings about deliverance from sin and reconciliation with God. Second, the title lamb resonates with temple's sacrificial system in which lambs as well as other animals and items of value were offered to God in worship as sacrifices. Thus, lamb alludes to the animal sacrifices by which the people's sins were ceremonially purged and reconciliation with God was attained. Jesus, however, is not just one more liturgical sacrifice. He is the lamb who definitively lifts off the whole mass of sin and evil that presses upon the whole human race. And he brings about the complete reconciliation with God. Third, the book of Isaiah describes a suffering servant of the Lord who goes to his death to obtain forgiveness for others and their sins as well as their wrongdoing against God. So, as a lamb is led to slaughter, uh, Isaiah 53, particularly verse 7. So, since Jesus talks about his death with reference to the suffering servant, we can see in the title, Lamb, an allusion. So, it's an expression designed to call to mind the Old Testament story of God's salvation without mentioning it explicitly uh, to the suffering su suffering servant. So, friends, I hope and pray that every time we hear and even use for our Lord Jesus the term Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, we think of these truths. First, Jesus as the new Passover Lamb whose sacrificial death brings about deliverance from sin and reconciliation with God. Second, that Jesus is the Lamb who definitely lifts off the whole mass of sin and evil that presses upon the whole human race. And third, that aside from that, he brings about complete reconciliation with God. So third, that Jesus as the fulfillment of the suffering servant prophecies in the Old Testament. That by his life, suffering, death, and resurrection, we are saved 
and given new life through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So let's thank Him. Let us praise Him. Let us worship Him. For Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, is our Lord and Savior. Amen.